A woman famous in Mobile for driving in her white Mercedes station wagon with her dog hanging out the window says she's lucky to be alive after a man carjacked her by knife point yesterday. WKRG News 5's Nicolette Schleisman spoke with the woman this afternoon. Nicolette's live near the McDonald's where this happened off Dauphin Street and I-65. According to a witness, that man first tried to come into the garage of the Tanner's Pecans here before going across the street where police say he used a knife to take beer from the store. And then he finally went back across the street to the McDonald's here where witnesses say he took a car from well known driver, mobile driver, Mercedes Marge. I thought I was gone. When he threw me out on that street. A chaotic evening as Marge Baxter and her beloved dog Coco were in the drive thru of the McDonald's on Dolphin Street just trying to get a coffee. Out of the clear blue sky, this man jumped in my front seat. And I don't think he spoke English. And I don't know. And he had a, uh, a knife in his hand. Police say they were called to Springdale Boulevard and Dolphin Street for the report of a robbery. They say David Kelly used a knife to take the car from a woman. He grabbed hold of me and slung me outside and I did not hit the cement. I hit in the kind of in the flower beds. He was yelling at me and he was sw swinging that knife. I fell on the ground and I was yelling to help me. Her dog was still in the car. Marge is a well-known driver in Mobile with thousands of people in a Facebook group called Mercedes Marge dedicated to sharing pictures of her dog Coco and her on the roads. Everybody was trying to be nice, but this man, if they had help come, then he would have killed me. It's like everybody's grandma got attacked. Jason Harsony works next door to the McDonald's. He says Kelly came into their garage as he was closing up. And I heard some rustling or screaming. I walked right up to there, and, uh, and before I knew it, this guy popped around the corner right here and looked at me and said, uh, What the are you looking at? You know, kind of thing. And, um, and he was running around and started walking in circles. He followed Kelly to the Circle K and eventually found him at the McDonald's in custody and Marge on the ground being helped. He says he's glad it wasn't worse. I go through that a hundred times of what could have happened. Both Marge and Coco are okay. Marge says she is grateful for everyone's concern, but is still shaken up. It really took its toll on me. And Kelly is charged with menacing and robbery. He does have a very long arrest record going back to 1996, charged with multiple things, including indecent exposure, burglary, and arson. Reporting live on Springdale Boulevard, Nicolette Schleisman, WKRG News 5.